Freedom is free of its moorings. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore Heartburn begin their nominal. belated trip home. Wow, we've been waiting a long time to hear those words. That's the moment NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams finally began their long-delayed journey back to Earth. A SpaceX capsule carrying the pair undocked from the International Space Station early this morning. Splashdown off Florida's Gulf Coast is expected this evening at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time. And former NASA astronaut and Dr. Tom Marshburn joins us now in Studio 57. He's a chief astronaut and VP of Human Factors Engineering with Sierra Space. Thank you so much for being here. I know you told me to call you Tom, so I'll do that. But you've been to the ISS three times. You also know Butch and Sonny well. What are they experiencing now and between splashdown? Uh, right now, they're getting ready to hit the atmosphere. They're inside their capsule. They're in their suits. The suits are all sealed up. Uh, they've probably had uh, the last meal in space here for a while for all of them, and I know that they're very excited about coming home. As much as as wonderful as space flight is, they're looking forward to getting back. Now, uh, are the, has it been mostly smooth sailing, and, and the real adventure is about to begin when they come into our atmosphere? In terms of uh, what they're going to feel and experience, absolutely. Wow. Very exciting when you come in. You're feeling four Gs as that spacecraft hits the atmosphere. Um, you uh, get this loud rush after you pass through the, the beginnings of it, uh, just screaming wind around you as you're falling, literally, uh, at, once you come through the atmosphere. They're, they're essentially going to be in the side of a middle of a meteor coming yeah. through. Yeah. Fascinating. What, what will they have to do or what will they feel in order to reacclimate when they come back to Earth? So when they get back, uh, you know, they'll be in, hitting in the water, first of all, so a, a little bit of uh, uh, rocking motion of the ocean will be very unusual to them. The hmm. feeling of 1G again, the Earth's mm -hmm. gravity. I haven't experienced that for, for them, uh, for those two, eight months, and for Nick mm -hmm. and Sasha, uh, six months. That's a very strange feeling. Um, and then uh, you just feel like you're welded into your seat or into, into your couch. You have to get used to that. And it'll be about a six-week period as they slowly regain their coordination. Uh, they're going to have some trainers work with them and get reacclimated with home and family life as well. And because you know them well, they, they have been such troopers. I mean, yeah. every interview I've watched them with, they are so positive. They, they say, look, this is a dream to be up here. This is what we train our entire lives for. But emotionally, how have they been handling this, this extended stay? 100% just as they expressed it. Um, I'm sure there are some difficulties, especially if you haven't planned on being away from family, uh, your kids, your friends. There may be some family events they didn't think they were going to miss, and then they found out they're going to miss it. But they're consummate professionals, uh, and really, we train for years for this opportunity. So the opportunity to, to do all the stuff they have each gotten to do, more spacewalks, um, that I'm sure they were thrilled to have a chance to be up there as tough as it is to be away from family. Well, NASA is, is picking people who can be flexible, right? I mean, that's part of the job. You have to Name be. Of the game. You have yeah, to roll, really is. right? Really well, is. you are going to be with us throughout the afternoon and yeah. evening as we watch just this incredible moment of history. Dr. Tom Marshburn, thank you so much. Thanks. And you can watch live special report coverage of Butch and Sonny's return to Earth later today on CBS and, of course, right here on CBS News 24-7.